Good morning, y'all. Happy, happy Friday. Uh, you got an easy job right now. Get your current events journal open, please. Uh, we got a couple of things that we're going to be looking at today from the world from A to Z. It's actually, a, I usually like it, but this is a great episode today. Crazy important things are happening out there, folks. So I'll give you about 30 seconds. Get that current events journal open, please. And you're not voting today because CNN tends any cover the State of the Union and it's like bro, like you know, got people just like, 
All right, while you're doing that, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown because this is our next unit, is the legislative branch, right? So we're going to finish up, sorry, our next unit is the executive branch. We're going to finish up the legislative branch next week. Uh, kind of, actually, let's give you a rundown of what's happening <laughs> next week. Next week, you all will do your unit summit for unit three of the legislative branch, and that will be trying to write a law to get passed by this class. Okay, so you're gonna go through the exact format, you're gonna be put into committees, you're gonna see if your bill can make it out of committee, and then we'll go to a whole floor vote. It's gonna be fun. Uh, after that, I'm gonna give you all the benchmark uh, study guide on Wednesday. Thursday, you will do the study guide in class. Yes, it will be a grade. I will not be here Thursday of next week, though. I'll be here, but not in here, okay? Uh, so that'll be your opportunity to get that done and kind of get yourselves caught up, and then you'll have to take the benchmark next Friday, okay? Then when we come back from spring break, we're gonna do our uh, executive branch unit, which this video is relevant to, okay? Also, y'all can vote probably in November, and the people that are talking today may be people you want to or not want to vote for, okay? All right, cool. Uh, the major political event that took place in Washington, D.C. last night was established by Article 2, Section 3 of the U.S. Constitution. It says the President shall from time to time give to the Congress information of the State of the Union. Of course, there was no TV or Internet when that rule was put in place back in the 1780s. It didn't state it had to be done every year in winter time. It didn't state it had to be done in person in the chamber of the U.S. House of Representatives. It didn't state the opposing political party should respond. But these are all events that have become American traditions in recent decades, giving the president and another politician the opportunity to lay out their visions for the country. These are the main topics we're tackling today on the world from A to Z. Carl Azus. It's a political Super Bowl of sorts, and American leaders are the star players. They get to talk about the things they want to do and the things they've succeeded in doing in front of an audience that includes all members of Congress, numerous invited guests, and millions of Americans watching at home, between 27 and 47 million in recent years. U.S. leaders have the floor, usually without interruption and without being challenged by hard questions. As an incumbent running for re-election, President Biden could also preview topics he plans to campaign on in the months ahead. Here are some highlights. President Joe Biden addressing the nation Thursday. State of the Union address coming at a pivotal moment for his presidency, highlighting his accomplishments and laying out his plans for what he hopes to accomplish if elected for another four years. The state of our union is strong and getting stronger. Thursday's speech comes at a tumultuous time, both domestically and internationally. Americans grappling with high inflation. I want to provide an annual tax credit that will give Americans $400 a month for the next two years as mortgage rates come down. Issues dividing many voters. You, the American people, send me a Congress that supports the right to choose. I promise you, I will restore Roe v. Wade as the law of land again. But Just for fun. Who's in control of Congress right now, specifically the House of Representatives? Republicans or Democrats? We just did this, people. You literally had to fill out a chart and say who is in control. Thank you, Republicans. Uh, what political party is Biden part of? Democrats. Democrats. If the Congress and the President's parties don't match, is it easy to get laws passed? No, it's incredibly hard, right? Because you'll have your majority of Republicans make a law, send it to the president, and then because the president's in a different party, he's much more likely to veto it, okay? Just kind of keep that in mind, right? When you have all of them match, right? The House, the Senate, and the presidency match politically, it's a lot easier to get laws passed, people. Okay? That's what he's talking about. And also addressing the harsh criticism his administration has faced in regards to immigration. That bipartisan bill would hire 1,500 more security agents and officers, 100 more immigration judges up, tackle the backload of two many cases. But the turmoil overseas taking center stage Thursday. Israel Hamas war causing rifts here at home. I'm directing the U.S. military to lead an emergency mission. 
to establish a temporary pier in the Mediterranean on the coast of Gaza and can receive large shipments carrying food, water, medicine, and temporary shelters. And congressional leaders torn on whether to send additional aid to Ukraine to help them fight in the war against Russia. Ukraine can stop Putin if we stand with Ukraine and provide the weapons that needs to defend itself. Biden ramping up his last State of the Union address before facing a likely rematch with former President Donald Trump in November. I see a future for the middle class as finally has a fair shot and the wealthy have to pay their fair share in taxes. I see a future where we save the planet from the climate crisis and our country from gun violence. I'm Jen Sullivan reporting. Well, All right, people, real quick, take a minute, see if there's anything you can add to your current events journal from this next segment. Uh, they are going to show the Republican response. You'll be able to add at that point as well. International Women's Day. 
tomorrow history. Today is International Women's Day. It's a time to honor the achievements of women, raise awareness about discrimination against them, and promote equal treatment. The first celebrations took place in four European countries on March 19, 1911. In the years that followed, the date moved to March 8th and was recognized by the United Nations in 1975. On this date, 1817, stockbrokers formally established the New York Stock and Exchange Board. They met regularly on Wall Street to trade 30 stocks and bonds. Now, the New York Stock Exchange trades nearly a billion and a half shares per day. It's the largest in the world. And on March 8, 1979, the Phillips Electronics Company demonstrated a prototype for the first compact mm. disc. CDs were smaller than records and used a laser to read music. Sales peaked in the year 2000, but rapidly declined after file sharing and MP3 players caught on. <coughs> the Cowboy State is up first in our world of viewers segment. From the town of Jackson, Wyoming, we welcome Mrs. Chapin's or Mrs. Chapin's class. Hello to everyone at Jackson Hall Middle School. And on the Texas Panhandle, Mrs. Keenan's students are watching. We hope all is well with you at West Plains Junior High School. It's in the city of Amarillo. What in the world? Think of a soapbox race, except with a course that's on snow and with vehicles that are made entirely out of cardboard. Hence the name Cardboard Classic. It could be characterized as a downhill demolition derby, but what the sleds lack in snow-worthy sleekness, they make up for in style. And while those styles are vastly different from each other on this Pennsylvania mountain, one thing everyone seems to share here is fun. It's a truly pay-per-view event for every cut-up package deal that wants to join the fold as long as they don't mind feeling boxed in and shipped downhill on a speedy delivery that always fills its contents. It appears everyone had a core at great in time. I'm Carl Azuz, such a car, and I hope you're not too bored to join us again next week on The World from A to Z. Fridays are awesome! Montage is pretty cool. I'm gonna let it play. But uh, take the next minute or two, get those uh, journal entries completed. Make sure you have an image with a link from where it came from. Uh, ideally, say something about the State of the Union, the Republican response. Uh, these are the people that you potentially are voting for in November. Not voting for. Oh, I can't do 
Help me finish up the slides. The it's from six, uh, start. It starts a uh, uh, slide sixteen. Student group Congress party. Uh, yeah, yeah, Congress party. Uh, right, I have to do this shit, please. <laughs> I'll do uh, this slide over. Okay. I'll do slide 18. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
That's what I want. I want you to make a list of the ones that you're either planning to attend in person or uh, the dates of the meetings that you're going to be I don't think you need to type anything there. Yeah. Choose them correctly. Okay. So you want to do something in the future? Yeah. Keep in mind that uh, this is due to be done spring break, so we're inside of the Moon Right? Right. So I want to go like, look at ones that have already happened, listen to them, and then just grab it and see it, et cetera. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah
It's very good. one of them. Okay. So, so, 
No, the word from A to Z. It's what like, is it? It's like, it's kind of like seeing in 10, but it has cards or something. I didn't know that. Can I look it up real quick? Yeah. yeah. Like you that. So Carl is doing this show. Yeah. Yeah. When I didn't know about this. Yeah, I'm going to check it in their face. Is it YouTube now? Yeah. 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 I think so, or no, there's a website. It just remains. What the? What is this in this thing, bro? Hey guys, remember if you walk in after the bell. Hey Zeus. If you walk in after the bell, what are you considering? What is that? Last name, surname, same name. Punch it. I found the website. Yeah. Oh. 
I'm gonna try to go with him if I can. Hey, Alex, oh, hey, no, no, Alex. Oh, you have a note? Ah, uh, just see the thing, okay. No, this one, it's too easy. So it's too good. I was gonna go talk to Ms. Woodward, because um, yesterday I couldn't attend him with her. She's the one who came in. And I heard my paper at home, so the office, I told Ms. Linda, like, oh, she was like, oh, I left it at home. She said, oh, we couldn't go for Ms. Wood, right? But she's the thing, Ms. Wood's not here, so when I go off, I was like, oh, Ms. Wood's not here. Because I wasn't here from third grade to, like, first or second. Yeah. So you're just getting here? I'm very grateful for it. Where's the thing? My party policy is the same as the school, which is students need to be in. Not like, like, it's too steep, bro. Like, like, who's like you? No, I'm not there. So you're late to this period. They can't, you're late. You walk in yeah. after class party, after the bell rang. Oh, yeah, I know. All right, guys, here you go. So today, phone's away. Your phone out on the field. All right, guys. So we the the only change I can make to the schedule, and I'm okay. One way to do, and I'm okay doing this. If you guys want, I would just have to sign them real quick. If you guys wanted to, we could do benchmark today. And oh, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So my biggest thing is because I have to make sure everybody is okay with it. I can't do it if like one person is like not okay with it because I would have to give enough time for you guys to be ready for a benchmark, and that's why I post on the board. But if everybody in this class is okay with doing the benchmark today, I can open them up and assign them real quick. We can get that done. So that next Friday will be more fun on the last day before spring break. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Is anybody opposed to to taking the benchmark today? Does not want to? Put your hands out. Alice? Okay, so we're not going to do it today. We'll do it next Friday. Yeah, schedule. Yo, it's majority. This, this, this would not be a majority thing. Most things are majority. This would not be, though, because this is a big, this is high state test. So I wouldn't want to go. Just roll it on you guys without any warning. Well, could have okay. Yes, Chris? How about your unit test? The unit test for the special? It's in the uh, the yes, go through class thing and then the test. Why didn't you do it? Like, did we do it already? Or? For this cluster, wrong. Who yeah. no, we haven't done that yet. Are no, you asking when it will be? Yeah. 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 I would imagine, because uh, I'd see, I'd see him make sure it was caught up from when I was off and stuff. I would just stay to study and then I'll let you know. Probably Tuesday, Wednesday, I think. Um, all right, so Alex, are you just being serious? You don't want to do it today? Um, yeah. Okay, so we'll do IXL today. Oh. Uh, I say you just kick Alex out of the yeah, class for the day. Can I say you just go to the class. You can send him to another class. I wish I could kick all you guys out. To be honest. Like, everybody, go to the office. Whole class, go to the office. Right? I'm joking. Yeah. What test is it? I don't know. It's according to the benchmark. So, like, is it like what we were reading? Hey, what is it about? Hey, you guys. Give me. Give me like three minutes to upload the test and I'll let you guys do it. I'll tell that you do yours next week. I don't want to. I'll leave the test window open. Sure. Don't let them force you into it. Man. If you don't want to do it, man, you don't have to. I can do it. Sure. Because I don't want to force you into it. Okay. Oh, I'm going to be 
the right brain, okay? Oh, Jesus. So make sure you're following along. What's the student login? Your email? Yeah. Without the app, right? Without that. Yeah, without that. Friday.
students, raise your hand if you're still taking the test. Yes, we have quite a few. Thank you. Keep going, guys.